Hello, welcome to the Noonday Prayer. You'll find the uh, order of service on your Book of Common Prayer on page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 126 on page 105. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sow it with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Thanks be to God. This evening, the uh, choir and the choristers of St. George's will learn something about the composer called Charles Villiard Stanford, a prominent figure of um, Anglican music in the turn of 20th century. Not only his music is regarded as pinnacle of the Anglican music in his time, but his expressiveness of the text also really puts him as an exemplary figure in the music scene. The text from Habakkuk, one of the 12 minor prophets, and was probably written when Babylonians were invading other countries. Um, and Stanford wrote this in the time when British was dealing with Germany in early 1900s. Um, I would like to point out also that most composers from UK were modeling after Germany as the major musical powerhouse and studied in Germany because they believe the, um, the, the musical language of Germany uh, was so much more advanced at the time. And the uh, much development of music in UK were influenced um, by the advanced operatic writing by major composers like Wagner that you might have heard. Um, you can imagine the sense of disappointment and dismay um, through the whole political and social atmosphere uh, that drove Stanford to write this anthem and um, probably also mixed with sense of betrayal and desperation with what was going on in continent and in his own country. The text from Habakkuk is, if nothing but dramatic texts, uh, very pointed um, and descriptive. The opening organ part of this anthem uh, is violent and vivid and really made with quick succession of notes while choir sings rapid, fast notes this opening section really makes one's heart rate goes up at the very early on. And the scripture reads, follow I raise up that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the breadth of the land to possess the dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards and are more fierce than the evening wolves. And their horsemen shall spread themselves and their horsemen shall come from far. They shall fly as the eagle that hasteth to eat. They shall come all for violence. Their faces shall sub up as the east wind and they shall gather the cap captivity as the sand. So you can actually see how dramatic the whole text is and where the inspiration of the music really comes from. And following this on verse 12, um, the scripture reads, Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord my God, mine holy one? And the full choir sings this portion with all of their might. Really massive. Um, this huge proclamation of plea and for hope turns into asking God 
for his judgment and correction. Um, then the music, and it talks about how it is not yet the appointed time, and the appointed time will surely come. The music becomes softer, uh, gentler, but firm to find that sense of hope. Um, it goes, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. I think um, the time that we are in now can be reflected on uh, the time of Stanford when he wrote this. Um, not only the time period is pretty close to the um, Spanish pandemic, flu pandemic at the time, um, but the uh, ongoing challenges and turbulent events um, around us can be compared to the time uh, when Stanford wrote this anthem. But the text and music does not just linger on troubled times. It spends quite a bit of time describing all the vivid imageries, but it does not just linger on the troubled times, um, not just on things that bring anxiety and fear. Um, it focuses on faith. During this time of trouble, the fact we can grow our faith, even with all these troubles we see and feel all around us, because the end time, the appointed time, will come. Music picks up the pace with the um, scripture reading saying, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. This anthem really brought a different light to this part of the Bible. Uh, to me, it seemed to really almost dark and hopeless uh, when I first read it. But I'm glad I had a thorough insight of the book of Habakkuk um, through this magnificent anthem. Um, I hope all of us, as things that might make us nervous, um, that might escalate in upcoming days, especially next couple of weeks, can find hope in that this is not the conclusion. But we have hope and the appointed time that will surely come. Let us continue on Book of Common Prayer, page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We now can offer prayers for our needs and for those who are around us. And I would like to include these names in our prayers. Larry, Claire, Mickey, Dana, Isabel, Ethan, Jackson, Jay, Wendy, Wade, Ellen, Heather, Alexander, Anna Claire, Colin, Mary, Boyd, and Virginia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.